All right, we got some big news today. Look what we got in. Blam! My boy, Elon Musk, just sent me my Starlink satellite. This is the internet satellite. He developed this with all his rockets and his spaceship and his satellite so that people in rural areas could get internet. So out here, the internet companies, the, the cable companies, rape you, and then they give you some internet speed that's so low you can't even download and watch a movie, let alone upload something. So this is the alternative. It costs 500 bucks just to buy this setup, and then it's $99 a month for the service, which is equivalent to what the internet we, we pay at our other house. So if this works like we hope it does here, it's, it's going to work out good for us. But I just got it. I'm going to open it up. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. This will be an unboxing and I guess also a, a setup. And I have an app on my phone that tells me my internet speed. So after it's up and running, we'll see what it does. Oh, baby, look at this. So this seems to be like some sort of metal. It's not aluminum, I don't think. That's the dish. It's kind of flat. Yeah, yeah, it's really flat. Oh, I, I guess uh, I've watched other people's videos with this thing. And it seems like that's your that that's the instructions or something like that. That's it. Like put the satellite onto the holder. Step one. It's hard to say it. Look at this. This is the space age router here. Hopefully, I don't break anything. And. That's it. That's it. That's what you're paying for. It's all, all together like that. Now, I don't know how the heck this goes on here. Read your uh, handy dandy instructions up yeah, there. There's nothing to read. It just <laughs> says put it on. So at first, I thought this that the cable would have to feed through there, but it doesn't look like it does. It looks like this just. Yeah. So that's it. So this cable doesn't go through. Comes out the bottom. It just comes out the front right there. So that's the satellite dish. So let's uh. Now, the only problem we have here is our whole house is metal. It's metal siding, so that, that sucks. So I'm gonna try to get this far, far away from here as I can. Okay, so let's put this out here. And we'll see which way it turns. So I think that's south. No, I didn't stretch it all the way out. We'll just do like that. And they have all kind of um, they have all kind of brackets for that. If you look on the website for Starlink, you can mount it on the wall, on a pole. There's different ways that you can mount that thing. And I think what I want to do is mount it up on the eave of the house. But then the problem with that is, if you wanted to take it down and bring it with you somewhere. You can't because it's mounted up on the top of your house. So that sucks. So maybe on a little pole there to where you could take it on and off the pole and take it with you. Because apparently, I don't know if this is true, but you can use it in different locations. So somehow what we're going to have to figure out is how to feed this cable into the house. That's a, that'll be a, a different video of bringing it in, but for now, we'll just bring it into the door. Okay, let's plug this thing in, and we're going to go from inside to outside and see what this thing does. I'll stay here because it might start spinning as yeah. soon as you plug it in. So, okay, so that the router's all plugged in. Now, this is just temporary, but let's, uh, let's just plug it in and see what happens because apparently you don't have to do anything. Blam! Is there, a, is there a power button on yeah, that? Maybe there's an off button. That I don't know of. No. Unless it's a touch, a touch power. I better look at the, the instructions slash picture again. 
Oh, you got to do something with your phone. Oh. Oh, look, here's something. You're right. We don't need these. Where's your glasses? We don't need that. We don't need instructions. Yes, we do. Uh, uh, well, it has it this. In. Yeah, I got. The, I have to. Okay, so I have to go on the app on my phone and start it through an app on my phone. So I'm going to cut the video here, and I got to install that. And I'll use my camera in case it starts up before you can get back on yours. Okay. So I created a name and a password. So I'm touching the Starlink again. It's reconnecting to the Wi-Fi. Hopefully. Let me put in my password. Top secret. Take that, FBI. Yeah, so it moved. It's facing straight up out there now. So that, I don't know if we got that on film or not. I don't think so. Okay, so. So, oh, I can't show you. So we got full bars. Why don't you put your hand over the password, name password? It is. It's on the home screen. So look up here. See that the full bars. All right, so now I'm on the app for Starlink, and you can see the the satellite out there, if you zoom up on it, it actually moves. It follows the satellite. So it was facing up, then it was facing to the right. Now it's facing down that way, which is cool. Since the satellite dish is working, the router's on the inside. I've got my security camera here. And that is a, a, it can pan, it can zoom, it can turn sound. It does everything. I got it connected to a solar panel. And that thing is now working wirelessly to the Starlink satellite. The router inside the house is actually working that flawlessly. All right, so I'm gonna to touch this camera app. I'm touching the camera app. This is this camera here, I call it cabin. That's it right there. Now I'm going to control this and see if I can find us. Oh, here we are over here. Up, 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 up. Blam, that's us right there. Whoa. It, this, this is working faster than at our house. Now, when we were at our house for our home internet, our home internet, to get our cameras to work on the outside of the house, we had to get a Wi-Fi booster and plug it in closest to the cameras we can. With this thing and the router inside the house, this thing was working really fast. I mean, that was, that was pretty quick. I mean, there wasn't even a lag in that. So that router is working here. And now I need to experiment. If I grab another one of those cameras, how far out into the field? Like, could, could I use one of those Wi-Fi cameras and connect it to my deer stand? Would it still connect that far away? Because if it does, that would be awesome. All right, let's try to connect the television and see if we can hook up the television to this Wi-Fi. All right, so I have it plugged into, the way we've been using this is I have um, my phone service with my apps on my phone using the data from my phone as the actual internet to feed this. So I'm going to unplug this phone. So now the TV is on its own. It's just a TV plugged into the wall. So let's see if we can connect to Wi-Fi. Connect and activate now. Wirelessly. New wireless. That's us. All right, well, I got to put in the password, so stand by. And of course, the, pass law, the password has to be 18 digits to keep uh, the CIA off us and the FBI watching us. Boom, baby! Software update! Because we're finally connected to the internet since we've been using that. I had... Um, okay. I had... So on my phone, I had the DirecTV streaming, and what we would do is play it on our phone, and then we would plug this in, and whatever was playing on the phone could play on the TV. Or if you had um, Netflix or HBO or something on your phone, anybody could come in and just plug it in and just watch it, but you're using your data on there. So, And I'm canceling uh, my DirecTV. I mean, you can't even watch TV nowadays. It's terrible, so... 
we're, we're, we're getting rid of this phone. I'm not going to pay for this phone anymore. And we canceled the direct TV, all the apps, because it's a smart TV. We could just put the apps right here on the phone, on the TV. I just put in the Wi-Fi and a password to the TV. I had to update, update Roku because it's a Roku. You can see here, it's a Roku television. So it's, of course, I had to log into Roku and send the account and all. But where's the remote? So let's grab the remote here and see if we got television. Uh, live TV. Let's see what live TV is. This the first one. And there you go. We got television. So if I just go back, there's all your propaganda. So if you want to watch any propaganda, it's all, all there for you. Definitely free. The, the, the propaganda is always free. But there's whatever Roku offers, it's on there. Uh, let's see. Let's do an experiment here. I wonder if there is... Uh, like a YouTube or something on here to. There it is, YouTube. So let's let's see if it can uh, load a movie, a video off of YouTube. Okay, so it's loading the app right now. On YouTube, and let's just do an experiment on the speed, the internet speed. If you were streaming a video, I'm not a gamer, so I can't I can't do games. But let's go to search. Let's look up my favorite YouTube person. Let's put on a Oxford A21 video. And of course, commercials. Skip. And it looks like it's playing. Let's see if we can, can we fast forward? I'm gonna fast forward halfway through the video and hit play and see what it does here. Okay, it's loading. That's instant. That was fast. Did you see that? Yeah. So this is fast. It didn't need to buffer or anything. And that's some high def stuff, man. It looks like you can walk into that television with that. So that's pretty cool. So now I guess we could set up a computer and see if we downloaded something off a computer. But shoot, for streaming a video that fast? Let's look at that again. So I'm going to fast forward closer to the end of the video. Boom, hit play. And it's there. Oh, man. Here's the next day. It's a blizzard out here. We got about two to three inches of snow. The winds are about 40 miles an hour. The day after we set up the Starlink, as you can see, the ice was on it. Got the heater element in it that melts it. When ice is stuck on top of it, automatically senses it and melts it off. But we'll go inside and see if we get any reception now. About midday. Woo. Let's see. How's the TV working? How's the signal? Good. Fine. Yeah, forgive me for that. No, no static, no interruptions or anything. No. Yeah, working fine. So I'm gonna have to give it thumbs up. I mean, we'll we'll have to stick with it for a little while to see how it works later on, but. Uh, Geez, look at the weather out here. I don't even know if you could tell on camera. But it's really bad out. And the satellite is still working fine. And I got it just sitting right up on top of the porch roof here. I just screwed it to a couple boards just sitting there. And it's doing fine. Alright, we're outside here. And during this bad weather, I'm going to do a, a speed test. I'm going to go on the Starlink app. This is from outside. And right here... It says speed. I'm gonna hit the speed test and let's 
see if I can get it, guys. Let's see what this does. It's on the first green circle, and it says... I don't know what this means. I don't know what any of this means. 31, and underneath it says 8, upload. 7, 8, upload. Now it's on this middle blue circle. Okay, I don't know what that means. Down here, upload says 11, 10, 11, 10. And it's going back to begin again. Look at the bottom now. I don't know if this is good or not, but everything's still working. That's the first green circle again, whatever that is. Um, I guess it's done. So that's what that is. Outside. Now I have an independent app here to just test Wi-Fi somewhere. Um, right here. Let's do this one. Start. Now this just test the Wi-Fi signal strength. Remember we're outside house. One fourteen, one thirteen. Holding steady. Let's go back inside Whew. and see if it changed any. Yeah, look at that. As soon as I come in the house. We're only getting like, this number was like 300 and some. Let's go back to the, um, start link again. Start it over. Uh, speed test right there button. Let's try again. See how that green circle's blinking up there? Now it's doing the blue one. Alright, so far so good. <laughs> 